and I can honestly say I did not miss your grittying one little bit. Victory gritty, 2-0, and oh, baby. I hate it. You look like my 11-year-old nephew when you do it. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Read Option, episode four, presented by Good Time Media, the show where book lovers learn about sports and sports lovers learn how to read. I'm Wyatt. I'm Jenna. There we go. And uh, today we're going to talk about NFL week two. A lot of exciting stuff. And uh, we got some lists as well. Jenna, you read a book as well? Um, I haven't completed it, but yes. But far enough into it to have an opinion on it? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. And I admittedly, I've te- Jen, I texted you this. I admittedly uh-huh. am not holding up my end of the deal here. I need to do better. Very busy in the middle of tennis season. I'll do better. I promise. And I apologize. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the list for this week. Okay. Do you want to go first? Um, no, I want you to go first because I'm still a little scarred from last week when you had a terrible reaction to my list. People agree with you, though, based off the comments. Yeah. So you shouldn't take my opinion to heart. But I, I, I value your opinion. Well, I appreciate that, but, like, maybe get thicker skin. And well, just well like... that's a fact. I, that does need to happen. <laughs> I, Especially I think with some sh- of these comments. I think this show's going to do it for you. I think this is going to help you a lot there. Okay. Um. All right, my list this week, I decided to do – not just top five authors, because I feel like I need to do an authors. I need to talk about some authors. I did top five authors who are no longer with us. Okay. So they, they have passed away. Some I recent. I don't know much about authors. Me either. So I did some deep dives, uh, figure okay. out who the best of the best are. Uh, number five. This is are the only in one. Order? Yes. Okay. Uh, number five. He's five on my list because I don't think I've read a single one of his books. Okay. Uh, at least start to finish. Uh, mm-hmm. It's the father of American literature, I believe they call him. It's Mr. Mark Twain. Great name. I don't think that's his real name, but Mark Twain, great name, you good totally author. You read a Mark Twain book. I don't think I have. You, you for sure had to read one in school. I, if you can find one and prove me okay. wrong. And even if I read it for school, let's be honest, I didn't read it for school. True. I didn't read it, period. Mark Twain the Adventures book. of Huckleberry Finn. I don't think I've read that. Oh my God. I read that one. I mean, Huck Finn's the only one I would really think I've read. I don't know his yeah. other book. Or The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. That, nope. Okay. Yeah. So I don't I don't think I've read a Mark Twain book. Um, but again, got to rec- uh, recognize the greatness there. Number four, we've talked about her before. I have read her books before. Uh, I mentioned that she is the goat of mystery, murder mystery novels, Agatha Christie. She oh. might, she might be my personal goat. This is a more objective list. Love me some Agatha Christie. Uh, number three, a uh, one for the children, you know, but you can't you can't uh, take them off the list because of that. It's Doctor Seuss, great great author. I he mean, is very controversial. Is wait what? Doctor Seuss is controversial. Why? Um. This is going to shatter I, a lot of my childhood. Is he a bad guy? No, no, not a bad guy. But when he wrote his books, like that time period was known to be like a very racist time period. Well, I mean, Mark Twain wrote books during a very racist time period as well. Yes, but it shows in Dr. Seuss's books. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. A lot of stereotypes, like a lot of racial stereotypes, specifically, I think, Asian stereotypes. So we actually, like, you can't read them in schools. Wait, you can't read Dr. Seuss in school? Mm Mm-mm. I mean, at least we don't. We can't. Green eggs and ham? No? I don't know. I don't think I'd get fired if I did, but, like, I don't know. All right. Well, hey. Hand up. I apologize. Bad list on my part. Should got to do more research there. Dr. Seuss is canceled. Number two. No, I mean, he has a lot of very well-known books. 
yeah, but I shouldn't put him on my list. That's on me. Hand up. I apologize. He's allowed to be on the list. Uh, I don't think he is. Teaching you something. I'm taking him That's off. That's my job. This here. is my top four. This is the top four now. He's off my list. It's four okay. Mark Twain. Number three, Agatha Christie. Number two, we're going with most people's goat, I believe. Uh, we're going with Shakespeare. You have to. He is he is the author, I would say. Like he is the founding father. Um, so he's got to be up near the top. Uh, fun fact about him, he married Anne Hathaway. That's who his wife was, Anne Hathaway. Uh -oh. The great grandmother of Anne Hathaway, the actress. They're actually related? Great grandmother. Did you make that up? Uh, I made up the great grandmother part because clearly they would be way more generations than that. And I was hoping oh, you would. But they are just... actually related? No, not at all. Made that up as well. That's a, I knew it right off the bat. I was, I was hoping I could get away with the great grandmother bit. I know, your, then... I know your jokes. All right. Well, he did marry a woman named Anne Hathaway. Yes, he did. Possibly a relation. Probably not. Probably not. Who's to say? Who's to say? Not me. Uh, number one, you're going to hate this. My author, my number one author. It's Stan Lee. So he wrote a bajillion, babillion comic books. He is created and built worlds, thousands, not thousands, hundreds of characters, including the X-Men, the Avengers, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, like some of the goats. That's a great and one, not yeah. only not only did he create these characters via literature, wrote the comic books, they've now become larger than life, just like cultural figures, yeah. which is pretty impressive for like, for modern authors. I feel like that's the next goal is like, how do I make these, this world that I built more culturally known? And he's done that. Like those characters, those teams are universally known outside of the comic books themselves. So shout out to Stan Lee. May he rest in peace. What a legend. Good list. Thank you. Did All right. You what you got? Did you consider Dickens? No. Okay. I was just curious. No, he's another was, like, uh, really wasn't even a popular. thought. Okay. F. Scott Fitzgerald. <laughs> not today. Not okay. today, sir. Okay. Um, I decided this week to follow the trend from last week in this inspiration sparked last week when I was watching the Packer game. Mm -hmm. And my list this week is the top five hottest NFL coaches. I, I bet I could get your list, but I don't think so, but you can try. I, well, I already gave one I'll, away kind of. Though. Yeah. I was going to say Matt LaFleur is probably on your list. My coach might be on your list. He's a hot piece of ass. He's like 6'6", too, by the way. Uh, I feel like you're going to love that. Um, yeah. And I bet he's a he's a crappy coach because his team's terrible. I bet Dave Canales is on your list from the Panthers. Nope. Hot dude. That's crazy. Wait, I didn't I didn't know him. I well, even look, I did research. Look up Dave Canales. How do you spell Canales? C-A-N-A-L-E-S. This, this, I thought this might be your one one. Yeah, he is. He's a fine, fine man. Yeah, yeah you missed one there, didn't you? But anyways, I'm intruding yeah, on your list. I apologize. Five. It's only five. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you got? Okay. These are like semi ranked. Okay. In order. Five, Kevin O'Connell. Come on, KOC. I knew yeah. it. Um. Number four, Sean McVay. Okay. All right. Rams coach. I, I don't want to, I don't want to burst your bubble here. Short King. Damn it. Yeah. I'm I should have looked at height. Yeah. I, yeah. Sorry. Short King. Okay. But again, nothing against Sean. He doesn't Love have him. to be for me, you know? Okay. He's a nerd too. Like he's an analytics guy. He has like a perfect memory. But oh. anyways. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, number three, D'Amico Ryans. Yeah. Yep. Hot dude. He, he has a beautiful face. Yeah. It's like, just, just like the features sculpted. are perfect. Like mm -hmm. the ratios are all there. Yeah. He's got it all. Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, I don't know who's going to, well, LaFleur is going to be in here. I don't know who you're, it's LaFleur too. Sorry to stop. 
No. Okay. He's my one. Wow. Okay, but then sorry, we're we're all over the place. Yeah, with your you're list. making me jump around. I know I'm intruding in your list. Sorry. That's on me. I gotta um, shut up. Number two, Kevin Stefanski, Browns coach. God, this is your Cole Komet of the list. There's better options than Stefanski. Okay. <laughs> and finally, Matt Lafleur. He is. I mean, I think I just watched the games to look at him on the sidelines. He is. A very hot man. He is a DILF. I mean, I'm, I'm, de- I'm definitely biased because I hate the Packers, and I think he. Okay, is- no, take teams out of it. I know. I'm trying my best to, but it's hard. Um, it's like if a girl walks in wearing a Packers hoodie, like a ten is wearing a Packers hoodie, she's like a six. It's just uh, yeah, it's me personally. It's a red flag on my own part. But like, if we're okay, gonna play fine. that game, but okay, I. Um, I see it. I see why he should be on your list, but I want to go back to Kevin Stefanski real quick. Okay, yeah. I like the salt and pepper vibe he's got going. Like he okay. looks like a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I know. He looks like he's he's been through some shit. Like I, I love. Come on. It's a little, it's a little overexposed. I know, there. but I did this last week and it worked. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Love yeah, I mean, it looks, I mean, coaching the Browns will do that for you. So he's that's true. Ages that him true. pretty fast there, but I, I see where you're coming from there. I just two on your list is he's not your type. Yeah, he's not. He's not for me. Not okay. for me. I, Dave Canales would be on my list. Okay. Sorry, not. Well, now looking um, at him, he would have probably been on mine as well. <laughs> we should do that. We should just like do each other's lists. Edit next each other's week. lists. Wait, that's like, actually a good idea. Next week, you have to do top five authors who are. Okay. Or should we do new list each week? I honestly Wait, let's why don't do we do both. Let's do new list each week well, and we'll just argue so. about them throughout okay. it. Because we're all, basically I basically gave my list already. That's um true. all right. Let's start uh with the book you're reading right now. What do we okay. got? Okay. I told myself that with doing this show, I was going to step out of my comfort zone with my books. Mm-hmm. I'm usually a rom romance hardcore romance i am reading a mystery thriller this week very um different for me you don't like that it's not that i don't like it i just like don't read them often don't do it okay i am reading all the little raindrops who is it by sorry i'm on my ipad by mia sheridan all the little raindrops and so let's go ahead. Let's give a review that's non-spoiler. So if someone okay, wants so to read this it. is basically just like a synopsis of like it tells you this on like on the about the book yeah. page. So it's not going to yeah. spoil anything. Basically, these two teenagers get kidnapped on their spring break. And they wake up and they're in cages. And they have no idea where they are, no idea how they got there, like, don't know what's going on. They realize that they know each other because her, the girl's mom was having an affair with the boy's dad. And the dad broke things off with the mom and she was trespassing in his yard and he shot her and killed her. Whoa. And it was like- This is all in the back of the book? Yes. That's that's a wild setup. Like, like hey, you, buckle yes, up. You find that out right away. So obviously there was like all the drama with that, and their families hate each other because of it. So they're like, that has to do has to have something to do with why we're here. Basically, they're being filmed in these cages, and people online rent them out to go upstairs and basically use them for whatever they want to use them for. Whoa, yeah. That um, doesn't sound great. No, terrible, really terrible. I mean, I mean, I'm intrigued by the plot, but very terrible yeah, things. Not great. Um, they're in there for a very long time. They develop their own secret language so that they can discuss like what the heck are we going to do, and they come up with a plan to escape. Okay, and. They escape successfully. Once again, this is not ruining the book because it's on the this back of the book. This is all in the back of the book? Yes. 
this is i mean not in not in such detail but gotcha but like this isn't the plot like this is like the the this is like the to try to get you to read it wow yeah so they escape they find out that they were gone for like a month and a half um and I haven't gotten to this part yet, but what the back of the book says is that it comes back like 15 years later and the boy that was in the cage is a private investigator and he decides that he's going to try to figure out who kidnapped them because they never found out who did it. Uh, okay. So there's a time jump coming up. There's a time. Ju- I think I'm just getting to the time jump because okay. it's like part one of the book and then part two of the book. And I just got to Not part sure. two. Okay. Question so. for you. So when you're reading a book, well, so far, what's your rating for it? What's your grade? I'm really enjoying it. I would okay. give it like a four out of five stars. All right. I like that. Um, when you're reading this, so there's two girl main characters, correct? No, a girl and a boy. Oh, it's a girl and a boy in the cages. Yes. And they um, when you're reading it, are you picturing these characters a certain way in the sense like if you were to cast them, not to go back to movies, but like. Do you kind of use celebrities or people you know to like almost put – is this making any sense? Like yeah. how do you picture these people? Like how do I picture them in my head? Yeah. Yes, I do. I find that I don't do it so much with like who the character would – what the character would look like, but I do it more with like the setting. Okay. You know? Yeah. So you're like building – like, like I don't necessarily building. like – I like think of their face specifically, but – The environment they're in. Yes. Gotcha. That makes sense. I I can see that. Yeah. All right. Um, Because obviously they give you certain details about how they look and like if they're popular or if they're not. And it kind of gives you an idea. Yeah. I feel like personality traits are more important than like the physical features when you're reading something. Like I don't care if they have brown eyes or blue eyes. Like who cares? But like if, if you tell me like, oh, they're very like the most popular kid in school. All mm-hmm. of a sudden, you picture that person. Yeah. Like, you know you know the idea of that person, which is probably way more important than, like, do they have blonde hair or brown hair? Okay, wait. This is a really plot twist that I forgot, too. Wait, I can't say that. Yeah, don't say it. But just know there is a plot twist. R- well, it's not really a plot you... twist. It's just, like, a detail that it's like, holy shit. Do you, do you want to say it? So how about this? Say it to me. I'll bleep it out. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, and I'll and I just I'll wanted react. to share it. Yeah. So the girl obviously mm-hmm. Whoa. That is a big <laughs> that's a big plot detail. Right. Glad I we bleeped that out. Because it doesn't impact it that much, but it's still like a whoa. Like mind blowing. Yeah. All right. I like that. Um I do want to say so. This is this is I know I've promised a lot in the show. This is an actual promise because I want to do this for next episode. Um, you mentioned last week how – so you've read the book. Was it My Sister's Keeper? Yeah. So you've read that I book? I said that you need to watch the movie. Yeah. Yes. I've done – yes. So here's what we're going to do. I So I'm not going to read the book, but I will watch. I promise this is like well, hand to God. Well, that's what I told you. I said I wanted you to watch yeah. the movie first. So we're going to do this. I But – how we're going to do it is I'll watch the movie. You'll kind of write down the differences between the book and the movie. And then you'll just tell me since I'm not going to read the book. I don't have okay, time. Well, to do maybe that right I'll now. read it again to. Okay. okay. So you can read the book again if you want. Um, but then we can talk about the differences so I can tell you, Hey, this was my thoughts in the movie. And then you can tell me what was different in the book because okay. I'm not going really to have time to read movie. the book. Okay. I'll lock in. I'll, I, okay. this is, I, again, I promised a lot on the show. I will watch it this week and okay. then. We can talk about the differences between the book and the movie next week. So next week will okay. be a spoiler filled episode about. Yeah, but people. the the book but and the fine. movie are so old. Yeah. So, but we'll just we're prepping people so if they want to somehow watch it or read it, they can do so as well, and we can talk about it. Um, all right, let's get into NFL and a uh, few things to talk about. Let's start with just our few. teams. Yeah. Our teams. Great week and to be us. Great, mm-hmm. great Sunday for us. Yep. Um, my Vikings skull two and zero, and not just two and zero. Because last week we beat the Giants, shitty team. Whatever. 
I mean, I think they they might be better than we made them look last week. But then this week was the real challenge. We take on the San Francisco 49ers, who were probably Nick Bosa, baby. Nick Bosa probably should have won the Super Bowl last year. And what did we do? We moved the ball down the field. We got sack after sack. We turned it over, made Brock Purdy look like a little scared little baby back there. Oh, poor guy. We're 2-0. We're 2-0. We had no expectations this year. Everyone thought us a bottom five team in the league. Sam Darnold, who? What's going to happen? The defense has holes. None. None of that. Sam Darnold looks comfortable out there. Did you see the play with Justin Jefferson, the 97-yard touchdown pass? I saw it on your Instagram story. 55 yards in the air, backed up in our own end zone from the paint to the logo. See, I lost my voice. I can't go up any higher. If I try to like yell, it's gone. I lost my voice during that. Not great. Not great for a week of coaching ahead. Um, So that happened. It was a wild, wild game. I, I don't know. I was very nervous. This was back to old Vikings where every single play I was on the edge of my seat. I was pacing back and forth. I was biting my nails to the brim. And it was, it was very, it was very nice. It was very cathartic. And the Vikings are back. We're frisky. I love this season so much because we had no expectations. I don't, like if we lose, okay, people expected us to lose. And every time we win, I can rub it in the faces because we weren't supposed to be here. They wrote us off. They wrote us off. We didn't write back, Jenna. We didn't write back. We're 2-0. and I will not apologize for 2-0. and Thank you. It's very exciting, and I can honestly say I did not miss your grittying one little bit. Victory gritty, 2-0, and oh, baby. I hate it. You look like my 11-year-old nephew when you do it. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. All right. Did you watch any uh, football today? Did you watch the Packers play the Colts? I did. I watched the Packers play the Colts. I think that was it. Well, what's your thoughts there? There's there's some stuff to talk about with the Colts, but let's maybe focus on the Packers. Um, I think the Packers looked good. It could have been an interesting week with Jordan Love out, but I think the backup stepped in and he did a good job. Yeah, who you th- you thought he wasn't going to play this week? Yeah, yeah. You were missing for but Malik Willis did. He did what he needed to do. Right, he, he stepped in. He didn't. He wasn't asked to do much. They ran the ball like crazy. They just needed a body. Yeah, exactly. Someone who's, who's capable can go in there. Not don't lose them the game. And he didn't exactly. lose them the game. Yeah. And the Colts are kind of a mess right now. Oh God. They are kind of their rushing defense is atrocious. They gave up, I think, 174 yards in the first quarter rushing. Oh my God. Which is absurd they can't stop the run and then anthony richardson we need to have that conversation didn't look good didn't look good my brother had the comment he looks like he's throwing a nerf ball out there so he like overthrows he's so he's such a strong arm and he's so physically gifted that i think it hurts him because it looks like he's just flicking a nerf ball 30 yards and then sometimes when he overthrows a guy just he has some ugly interceptions because he just I think, I think he's too strong. He's too big. He's too athletic where he's just over-calculating. Um, didn't look good. They're gonna, there's going to be some rough days in Indy if he can't figure it out because there were a lot of hopes and expectations with Anthony Richardson based off three, maybe four games last year, and they held on to that because they thought they had the roster. But let's be honest, they might be better off with Gardner Minshew again this year. They might be better off. I don't know. He did not look good. Not. Look I have good no all. idea what you're talking about, but that's okay. That's the, yeah, it's beautiful. That's a beautiful part of the show. Um, yeah, he did, but he did not look good at all. Uh, I, what I do want to do with you is I'm going to run through the undefeated teams that we have through two weeks. All teams. Oh, are- and we're going to compare it to what I said. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, we can. Yeah, I was going to say, like, oh. if anything jumps out to you, these are all the undefeated teams. Um. Let's remind people your Super Bowl pick was Chiefs Eagles, a repeat mm-hmm. from two years ago. Um, mm-hmm. Here are all the undefeated teams. A, f- a few of these are one and zero teams because they haven't played yet because they played tonight or tomorrow. We have okay. the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. Yep. We have the Los Angeles Chargers with Jim Harbaugh, Justin Herbert, the Kansas City Chiefs, 
who your Super Bowl pick just beat the Bengals as of 30 minutes ago. Was Taylor there today? Taylor was there today, which uh, I been on TikTok. game winning kick was kicked by Mr. Harrison Butker. Eek. The clip, it's so funny. As soon as she it cheer? looked like, oh yeah, she went crazy, which okay. I thought was going to be, I knew it was going to come because as right before the game winning kick, I was like, this clip of Taylor celebrating a Harrison Butker play is going to set the internet on fire. They're going to be like, oh, I can't believe she's cheering on that misogynistic piece of shit. And here we are. Football's the great unifying figure. It brings everyone together. Blah, 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 words. Brings everyone together. Patrick Mahomes you was like, that's that my correctly. boy. I said together. Oh. <laughs> there's like a V in there. But anyways, uh, it's a great I'm so unifying. so I missed that because I would have roasted you for that. Sorry. Um. But yeah, football brings people together. It's the beautiful thing of the sport. Harrison Butker, Taylor Swift, Patrick Mahomes, Brittany Mahomes, we're all friends. Travis Kelsey's in there. We're all friends. They all love each other. Yeah. They all just want to win football games. Um, I'm sure the internet's going to love that clip, though. Uh, we also have the Pittsburgh Steelers are undefeated at 2-0, which is a frisky 2-0 because they're starting Justin Fields at quarterback, who wasn't very good the last couple of years for the Bears. The Houston Texans are 1-0. and They play tonight against the Chicago Bears. Any predictions for that game? This will air afterwards, so. Yeah, I think the Texans are going to beat the Bears. You heard it here first, folks. I just don't like uh, the Bears. Yeah, me either. Join the club. Mm -hmm. The Seattle Seahawks. Not bad. Okay. I think you picked them to win that division. I was going to say, I think I had them winning something, yeah. Yeah, so, again, division winners looking good. Minnesota Vikings, 2-0, and baby. Come on. Bears. 1-0 play tonight. You think that's going to be 1-1 one one by the time this episode airs? I hope so. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 2-0 and with Baker Mayfield at quarterback. Hmm. Not bad. And then a team I want to talk about right now who has looked by far the best team in football the last two weeks. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. It's the New Orleans Saints. Hmm. They look incredible. They have, this is a crazy stat. They've had 15 offensive possessions and they've scored 15 times. They You're have kidding. not been stopped. They have not wow. been stopped one time this year. Somehow, some wow. way, Derek Carr is putting together just one of the greatest offensive starts to a season we've ever seen. That's Alvin incredible. Kamara, their running back, had four touchdowns today. They blew the brakes off the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know where this is coming from. This is shocking a lot of people. I, the Saints are, by far the surprise so far this season because they're killing oh, everybody. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. Good for Derek Carr, their quarterback. Great guy. Great guy. Do you know him personally? I feel like I do. I see enough of him. It's a very parasocial relationship, but Okay. I feel like I feel like I, if I got to know him, I think we'd be friends, pals. Okay. Actually, he'd be one of those guys where I would like want him to text me to hang out. Like I'd feel weird asking him to hang out. But like when he does, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm in. Like, like I wouldn't he's feel too like cool for you. Yeah, like I'm not worthy to be in a circle. Not too cool, just like too good of a person. Okay. It's like it's like I'm on the edge of my seat, just like hanging out with him because I don't want to mess up. <laughs> like that's how I would feel around Derek Carr. He's like that good of a person. Um, but yeah, shout out um, to Saints. They're kind of crushing it. One of my TikTok girls, her husband plays for the Saints. Who's her husband? Juwan. Jennings? No. Jawan Johnson? Yeah, maybe. Potential. I believe that's a DB for the Saints. I could be yeah, wrong. He, yeah. But yeah, Saints have been incredible. And then the worst team in football. This team is atrocious. It is. It is. Yeah. Juwan. Okay. Nice. Or is he tight end? Yeah. Yes, tight end. Yeah. Okay, tight end. Cool. Um, worst team in football but by far. Not a receiver. Tight end. He's probably okay. tight end. He's a big boy. Number eighty nine, right? What? Eighty nine. Number eighty nine. 
I mean, you're looking at pictures of him. 83. Oh, I was wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of a different person. Maybe he is a wide receiver. Um, you were anyways, wrong. I was wrong. Uh, That's what you said. The very worst team in football, though. The Can Carolina Panthers. Oh, sorry. Oh, They're <laughs> so bad. They are so unbelievably bad. Hot coach, bad team. Bad, 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 Wait, bad team. Like worse than the Colts? Yes. No, this team is atrocious. Their quarterback is just – I don't know if he's bad. I think Who he's is bad. Who is their quarterback? Bryce Young. Um, he was the number one overall pick two years ago. Their roster is so bad that it's hard to tell how bad Bryce Young is. I don't think he's good, but my goodness, they are hot Nobody's pieces helping of him look good. Yeah, there's just nobody yeah. around him that can help him at all. He's still a kid, still learning how to be in the league, but he's getting killed. It's bad. Mm -hmm. So That's keep an eye on that. They him. might not. I don't see them winning a game. Like I, they're not going to be favored for any game for the rest of the season. When was they're the last win time one? a team went a whole season without winning a game? Two thousand eight. It was the Detroit Lions at zero and sixteen. Hmm. No team. So there's now seventeen games in the NFL. No team has ever gone zero and seventeen. So this could be a first. Do you think I, I, the Panthers might be the team to do it? They really could be that bad. Wow. Something to keep an eye on. They might. They might not win a game for a while here. Um, other things to talk about. Uh, did you watch any of the Bengals Chiefs game that just ended? No. So Bengals Chiefs, it's Mahomes versus Burrow. You know both those folks. I sure they do. don't they don't like each other. In real life, they don't? Like and maybe yeah, I don't think like, they like each other. Personality wise, they don't get along. After the game, so Chiefs. The Chiefs did what they do. They just hung around long enough to win the game late and kind of just steal all the joy from the Bengals, kick a game-winning field goal, Harrison Butker, Taylor Swift goes crazy, and then they do the little whole handshake, dap up the other team after the game. Burrow Mahomes give the coldest. Don't even say a word. Just walk right by. Just, yeah. And normally, the quarterback's like, hey, man, good game. Like, yeah, they don't, I don't think they like each other. Well, yeah, because I feel like at some point you get down to the fact that it's just football. Yeah, but shouldn't that like, say, hey, like, it's just football. This doesn't matter. We can be friends. That's what I mean. Is but like they that's don't what like you each other. Expect, but that's really interesting. Do you want your quarterback to, like, be friends with the other quarterbacks? Yeah. Because also they could get traded to another, like – you got you they move around so much that I feel like yeah. That's a good point. Those two quarterbacks probably not moving around much because they're franchise well, well, Hall I, of Fame quarterbacks. Well, and also I feel like they they wouldn't ever be on the same team anyway. Yeah. And the Chiefs both. have they've knocked each other out of the playoffs multiple times. So they've ended each other's seasons multiple times. So there's some bad blood there where it's like I don't know if it's personally like hatred. It's just like, dude, quit beating me. This is annoying. Huh. So yeah, they, they, they don't. It's not all sunshine and rainbows in the NFL. Um, that's really it for the NFL. We have two more games left in Week Two tonight. You said you think the Texans are going to beat the Bears. I agree. Tomorrow, it's Monday Night Football. It's the Philadelphia Eagles, your Super Bowl mm -hmm. team, coming out of the NFC North or NFC. And then the Atlanta Falcons, who we've talked about with Kirk Cousins at quarterback. Yes. Super fun fact for you, Jenna. This is the third year in a row that Kirk Cousins has played the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday night on week two of the season. It's an odd coincidence. It's an insane stat. So he was with the Vikings the last two years, and we played them the last two years on Monday night week two against the Eagles at Philadelphia three straight years. He's done that, which is an insane wow. stat. It probably will never happen again. I don't know how it happened. I can't understand, comprehend the odds of that happening, but wow, that's like this is really blowing your mind. It's that's an insane stat three years in a row. He changed teams that will never happen again for a starting quarterback. Yeah. Okay. It's, you're not that you're not impressed by my stat well it's just a, like a random stat 
Like, it's like, oh, I wore these shoes three Mondays in a row. Well, like, okay, what if you found out? never going to happen again. What if you found out that, hey, you wore the exact same outfit on the third day of school for three straight years? That would be a little trippy, right? I guess a little, but you were acting like we just learned that aliens were real. And I mean, one is okay, just, just have some excitement. It's a crazy. It's a cool stat. It's a fun stat. I'm not I'm saying I'm, I don't think it's cool. I'm just saying I don't think your reaction was on par with. Okay. All right. Well, who do you think's going to win, Falcons or Eagles? If that's what really gets you going, then man. I'm, no, my stat's um, ruined. You ruined my stat. It's not even cool. Not even cool at all. At it's this fun. point, I don't even. At this point, I don't even remember who's playing. The Falcons. Falcons, Eagles. Eagles. Uh, Eagles. All right, then Falcons will move to 0 and 2. Eagles will be 2 and 0. 2 and 0. Undefeated. Keep your undefeated streak. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. And so next Wait. week, oh, let's give what? What do you got? I had I had something else I wanted to share. Let's go for it. Um, I was at lunch today with my family. And Mm -hmm. my brother and I were talking about the Eagles came up in conversation and I was just like rattling some things off because my brother hasn't really like paid much attention to football the past few years. And I was just like rattling some things off and he was like, wow, like you really know what you're talking about. I was like, yeah, let's go do because I'm learning and now I have fun information to share. This is great. This is what yeah. we're doing. And then now, next time someone brings up a book we talk about on the show, I'll be like, I know what the- you're talking about there. <laughs> I don't think that's as um, common for that to happen, but sure. I think I think it's going to be a great moment Wait, for me. I did think. You set, did you see the Instagram I sent you? Yeah, that reading books is hot. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. That's why I'm trying to do it. Why do you think I'm more? This is self improvement. What was the stat? It was. I don't think it was this, like I don't know. Oh, it was one it's of those like the fake... number one. You, it like was reading is the most quality. attractive male hobby to women, according to. Do you think that's true? Um, I just think it depends on who you're talking to. Do you think re- like reading in general is a green flag? Yes. Red flag if they don't read at all. No. Gotcha. So it's only can be a positive. Because like not many guys read. Well, what if they're what if they're reading the same books like you read? Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> then they're a pervert. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, that's a double standard right there. That's what that is. Yeah. Those books right. were not written for them. <laughs> it's, it's not for you. It's not about you. It's not for you. Okay. Um, But overall, reading in general, attractive quality. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What books do you want guys to read then? Self-help books. (laughs) So, okay. So what if a guy reads for entertainment? Is that a green flag? No. No. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't think you're, I don't think you think it is. I can't say that I've ever stumbled upon a man in out in the wild that likes to read. So I just don't have any data to help. All right. Back this, up this is good though. This is, we want more, we're going to inspire people to be out there, be open with their reading habits, be open to exploring different avenues of their reading habits. It's good. We're, we're going to break down boundaries on this show. We're mm-hmm. slowly just, we're creating a new world, brand new world. That's a book. I read that one. Brave New World? Yeah, that's the one. Damn it. Did you read Close. it? No. I spark noted that one. Again, I apologize to my English teachers. Um, all right. Anyways, next week we will do obviously week three recap, but we will do a full review of the comparison between the movie and the book, My Sister's Keeper. So uh, if you've read it before, Make sure to tune in if you want to read it, if you want to watch the movie, whatever you want to do to prepare for that. Do so Let accordingly. Let me know when you watch it. I will. I'll text you before I start it, um, and then I'll save my thoughts. I won't send you thoughts. I'll save it everything for the show. 
So, all right, everyone, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace. Read something. <laughs> is, that, is that a new outro you tried? <laughs> Read something. What the fuck was that?